even I, even I know the most basic things for a relaunch. You know you have serious issues when the UC Food Safety Board does not approve your products. Is it safe to eat Mega Markle's jam? I mean, it even sounds disgusting just to say Mega Markle's jam. But here, this is where we are because Mega Markle's brand, it's really in serious trouble. Should people be eating her jam? Oh my God. I know it sounds bad. It sounds bad. <laughs> Wonderful people. I want to thank all of you who bought raffle tickets. We are only 484 tickets away from the goal. Uh, the goal was to buy 1,000 tickets and it's to do this is to fix this bathrooms and to close down that to make a shelter a better shelter a better room for the people who come and seek shelter which are mostly girls between the ages of 10 till 16 or 18 and even about schools and children of course that they instead of sleeping in the streets they can sleep there so this is the bathroom that you saw that you're seeing here that i need to close up and it's only one toilet and it's completely open so we need to close it build two full showers because at the moment i have over 23 uh, no 23 exactly um ladies young ladies sheltered there and it's the only home they have and at the moment even though it's better than sleeping in the streets it's not it could be better and also this this outhouse i need to turn this outhouse into a proper bathroom you know for the boys um and it's going to be fun because once i ra raise the funds um i'm going to go buy the materials you will see that because i'll do a video about that and then if knock on wood if everything goes great great i'm gonna have one a very loved youtuber who's gonna bring some kids from her own charity to build it to help build it and we're gonna film all of that and have it there so please buy a raffle ticket the link is in the video description and on the pinned comment here all you have to do is click on it yes you do have to sign up because it's a safe it, it's, it's a secured website because it handles money so they need to safeguard your details i don't get to see your details i don't even pick the winner because the website itself which has been approved by youtube one of the two or three websites that youtube approves um they choose it at random i don't get to choose it okay i'll just get the notification that somebody won <laughs> so and they send me the name and stuff so they will ask you a security question and the answer to that is makeup what is mac known for makeup of course so please very much appreciate it you you may get to win the chance um the chance to win these two beautiful purses that are beautiful leather um handmade by the very same lady and designed by the very same ladies i'm trying to build a shelter for you know so thank you very much for helping i am blown away thank you to leticia you know Thank you very much. I can't believe you bought 21 tickets. And I've, I've had other people who bought 50 tickets, another bought 10 tickets, 20 tickets. Thank you so very much. So only 400 and about 85 to go. Thank you very much. Hopefully we can sell them at the end of the week. I'm sure we can do better than the Sussex one. You know, I'm no Harry and I do not have a royal title to exploit. So thank you very much. We are a kick-ass community, beautiful people. What you're seeing here, beautiful people, is this is a label I helped a friend of mine who, who, who has since passed away, but I helped her build her label. She used to make marmalades. These are 100% natural marmalade, okay? And I helped her with the design, with the photography, with everything. And I helped her because she, she got polio when she was very little. And by the time, you know, she grew up, she was on a wheelchair. She couldn't walk anywhere. And she was elderly when I, you know. And so I, I, in order to help her with um, finance her stuff, because in Central America, Nicaragua at least, there's no such thing as, as a retirement plan for the elderly. But I did all the runarounds for this label. And this is 100% organic, guys, okay? And even here in Nicaragua, there are certain things that are mandatory whenever it involves food because people eat it. And it can be poisonous. It can, you can have an allergic reaction, which is why the ingredients must be included. So people are allergic to mangoes, uh, strawberries, whatever, nuts. So I'm going to show you what it's mandatory in a country like Nicaragua, okay? You see this? It says here, uh, marmalades of my grandmother. The name of the brand of the of the place is called um, 
products of my grandmother, my grandmother's products, right? Marmalade of my grandmother are um, elaborated with fruits selected and all of with selected fruits and all of our products are 100% natural, which is true. She actually used to cook it <laughs> in her own kitchen, poor sweat. Marmalade, marmalades are jams made with, uh, I, it's in English there, I'm so stupid. Marmalades of my, the mi abuela are jams made with carefully, um, she translated this, this is so cute. Oh, I can't believe she did this. Um, marmalade, uh, she's trying to say with carefully selected fruits and all our products are 100% made of natural ingredients. And then you put the ingredients there, maracuya, which is one of the fruits, papaya, and I used to provide the papayas to her and sugar. And she used to use brown sugar and sometimes honey, but honey was too expensive, okay? And here you have the logo, the brand, and this is a mango marmalade, mango marmalade, you know? This is just an example, okay, of what it was. Then we changed there, instead of mango, it said maracuya and papaya. But it just, and here you have lot number that belonged to this lot because for, for tracing, people, you have to be able to trace where this lot came from instead, in case, in case, um, something goes wrong so they'd be able to locate where exactly in which case number what case number it came and stuff like that when it expires when is you know and the sanitary registry number which is there right each product had a, reg a sanitary registry number and it's made in, in Nicaragua and blah 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 right now this one is Mega Markle's and on the back, there's nothing. The label ends there. It's just a little stick with it. That's just her logo and the name of the thing. Um, it doesn't even say it's a jam or anything. It doesn't even say what the product is. I know what people are saying. People are saying, well, maybe, you know, it's just a promotional thing. But she did send this food product to influencers. And we're going to get into this right now because it's actually very laughable. But there's nothing there. So this is actually quite dangerous for anybody to consume because you don't know if any what, what the actual ingredients are. And if anything in this jam is going to you're allergic to and which which could cause an allergic reaction. Right? You are also wondering, Mega Markle, I believe, has already uh, a deal with Target for that coffee filled with lead, that leaded coffee. <laughs> she has already a deal with them. Why, you know, why didn't she launch it with them massively? Because according to my sources, uh, the UC Food Safety um, Organization, I think it's called, has refused her first permit the, the they, they refused the product because it did not meet the requirements which is why she's doing this very soft launch now if you're only planning on selling at a very small scale and not a mass scale you can get away without having a code or registry number with the food safety department but even with any food, especially marmalades uh, that may go bad or they may have some preservatives, you know, or whatever you may put, you still need at least a, a, a minimum of information because people are consuming it. The way one a person does business is you go get your ducks in a row, you get, go get your permits. And I know that because I have a business. I have an agricultural business. I grow papayas, as you can see here. I grow papayas in a massive scale and I export them to the US, to Canada, a couple of European countries and some countries in Latin America. And I am registered with the USDA. You, United States Department of Agriculture. My company is registered and I can tell you I have to do a lot and I have a, a code number and we have to go through permits to export. The fruit has to be checked in a certain way. It has to be sprayed in a certain way. They cannot have any bugs. They cannot have anything. And then it comes into the US. And even then it's inspected once again because you're dealing with food. But I do have a register, a code registry. And I have looked, you can look for anything related to food with my code, which I have. And Meghan Markle's code, she, she doesn't have anything. There is no food product associated to American Riviera Orchard or Mama's Knows Best. Neither of those because I know that American Riviera Orchard is, I don't know what even is because her main, the parent company supposedly is Mama Knows Best. So with my code, my own Agri Department of Agriculture, um, US 
Department of Agriculture code, and I can see everything from Nestle when Nestle uh, with the products because it is anything that has to do with food. There's nothing registered to Mama Knows Best or American Riviera Orchard. Okay, so Mega Markle is selling jams without any permit, no permit whatsoever because it's not in the USDA and I get to see all of them in the United States. They even send me updates, you know, like I get emails and say, you know, the food products are here, the supermarkets and blah, 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 everything. I even see the, the kind, which supermarkets sell which fruits and I mean everything with that code. I get updates, I get everything with that. There's nothing registered, no food product. Not a, I can get to see jams. I can get, for example, um, Metro, this ca uh, Canadian, um, supermarket chain i get in there and i can see metro which food products they have from which suppliers because then as a as a supplier or seller i can go and ask them i get their details of people who's buying everything i can see people who are selling i can see who my competitors are everything that has to do with food or fruits anything i i can see it in the united states because i am registered in the united states my company is registered there as well and i'm a register with the usda Okay, and yes, I, I would be able to see Meghan Markle because she would be she would be a, a registered company, which leads me to believe that maybe her company name is not fully registered yet because you you can see my company. I'm not going to tell you the name because I'll get the sugars after it, but I you can see my company's name. You can see what products we do when we you can see our history. You can see everything, which products we have registered, everything. I export papaya pineapple i export coffee beans you know and, and and other other and i don't export mangoes because mangoes is a huge process and i don't have the machine to export it. but yeah and of course um red flesh dragon fruit i export obviously but yes so i know what i'm talking about guys and i use my code and i even asked another friend of mine who who works for um what's it called um, whole foods and tesco and um target because I can see what food items Target has. I can see that, guys. Even if it's coffee, anything that has to food, I can see them. I can find hers. And I, ha I asked somebody else who works in other company because I have access. I talk to people with other companies because, of course, I'm always trying to look for buyers. And I asked them if they could find out if, if, they, if they, maybe I thought my code is restricted, right? So I got the information using my sources because they can actually see uh, this person can actually see what happened or if there's anything re rejected. So Meghan Markle still hasn't been assigned a code number or a, or, or a company number like I have. Okay, because I have my company number has a, a registered code assigned and then you get a code to enter the USDA for food and products and all kinds of things and the uh, safety, everything. I've had to deal with that. So this woman is already sending to influencers and it's such a shameful thing because she did it all backwards. Do you guys remember Archwell's, how she tried to trademark the word Archwell? Because she didn't do her investigation. She didn't investigate that, did she? She didn't know that this gentleman, I think it was in Indonesia, was using Archwell nails or something like that. So she couldn't trademark it because he fought it. I remember I helped him. He went and, and did online um, um, a petition because Meghan Markle was pushing him and trying to take him away and take his train his name of the company away because she wanted to trademark Archwell worldwide but she couldn't because there was already in use so I helped him and she couldn't beat him so this is why she her trademark thing failed because there it's it, first of all it was insane now we have this jam product she could have done a soft launch this is the way you go about it first as I said at the beginning of this Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook. I'm going to do a kick-ass live today on Facebook. Okay, okay, beautiful people. Um, what you do is that you first go and get your products ready. And once your products have been approved and you have all the permits, all the code name, especially when it comes down to food, you know, you come and then you do what she did. You announce that you do like you organize with Target, for example. This is another reason why Target is not been able she can't distribute it through supermarkets because she hasn't gotten the approval from the food safety department it was rejected and one of the reasons they rejected is because she's refusing to give the recipe the ingredients because she's afraid they're going to steal her recipe if it's organic it's just boiled or cooked uh, strawberries but of course she's putting more stuff in there 
but this is why Target or, or any other department, she can't sell it through them and she's sending it to influencers. One of them is this Tracy Robbins who has less than 8,000 followers on Instagram or Delfina Balkir who is Nacho's wife. She has more of a platform, a little bit, almost like Meghan Markle's size, you know? And that because Meghan Markle hasn't gotten to the 600,000 followers as of now, real followers, because Meghan Markle, we know, I've done the, the, the app thing, pretty much over 80% of her followers are inactive, which indicates that they are fake bots accounts. So instead of doing the right way, once you have your code, your food, because food is very, very tricky, beautiful people very tricky you you don't screw around with food you may kill somebody with an allergic reaction or it's not sanitary enough that's another one of the reasons you have to meet sanitary standards to distribute at a massive scale or a large scale even at a small scale if you go up, up above a certain number of things these influencers are posting this thing which has no ingredients no ex no expire by date nothing no contact me if anything happens because that's another thing you have to put you have to put an address and and an email where to contact or a phone number where to contact in case something goes wrong the the where the batch where where this product which case was because you know you pack them in cage batch number for the in case something goes bad and you need to recall I, have you seen people our companies that they have to recall certain products and they go okay we're going to recall these ones because they come on this batch number under this you know packet number and that big container number with so and so so that's called traceability you trace you are able to trace the product so we have mega markle offering a very unhealthy non-approved unsafe product to be put forth that's because she's a d-list and she doesn't think right she thinks that just with that royal fake royal logo that is not fake that is so fake sorry she thinks that that's enough because she thinks she's the queen and she thinks that that's a royal warrant and therefore nobody has to ask questions but the food safety department is saying no no code for you come back in one year <laughs> this is why you see her because she has tried to patent everything but nothing is working I can't believe people I can't believe and, and you know what's the worst part of it all that these very little known influencers they don't even post it on their main page they post it they post it get this on their stories which disappears in 24 hours is I mean you can't make this up they don't even want to post it in the main page because you know it's going to be in the story in 24 hours it's going to be gone that's because Meghan Markle's not paying them and because they don't want to be sued but this is actually quite unsafe of Meghan Markle and I can't believe that these people don't have any any compulsion whatsoever at pushing something like that which could be 